Blue Brothers looking to make themselves at home this afternoon at Terrelba Park for this Round 5 Flight Centre Premier League clash between Mitchelton and Peninsula Power. Mitchelton currently sitting in second place on the table after a healthy win away at Ipswich Knights last week, while Peninsula are in fourth. David Walsh is the referee for this one, assisted by Patrick Dwyer and Brody Main. The setting afternoon sun in the west as Peninsula have first use of the ball. Mitchelton captain Nick Bernardi unable to force his way into the starting lineup today. Starts from the bench as a hefty challenge comes in there, and David Walsh. Issues an early yellow card here to Miles Castledine, who spent part of the season here at Mitchelton last year. Here's Stewart. Looking at forward for Njai, who now makes his way into the box. Attempts to play provider for Antonio Murray. Lee. Again for Lee. on by Murray who looks to continue on here he plays the ball for McVeigh and Josh McVeigh has found the opening goal here the referee was allowing the play to continue Murray good ball on for McVeigh hands were going up from the Peninsula defenders for offside but the assistants got the call right and Mitchelton have the lead. Enjoy up against Hurlan here. He's got Stopforth providing company. That's exactly where he goes. On for Murray. Denied by the upright. And Peninsula looked to clear. And Enjoy's just collected Hurlan there. Right in front of the assistant. Let's take a look at that again. Stop fourth. And Murray, yeah, denied by the upright. Here's Swithenbank. Another former Mitchelton player. Swithenbank again after the touch from Austin. And Walsh has got a touch on that. Let's take a look at Swithenbank's shot in that tests John Walsh in the Mitchelton goal. And now... David Walsh as Mitchelton take the free kick quickly. McVeigh hurries it on for Enjoy. And Mitchelton with another potential chance in front of goal as Enjoy continues to battle for it. Stop fourth. Lee. Lee, a high cross in. Aim for Enjoy, McVeigh and Murray both there. But somehow, miraculously, Peninsula have managed to scramble away, although Menin uh, sorry, Mitchelton continue to pile on the pressure. There's McVeigh's initial effort. Attempted defence away by Boyd, and then Reesby had to intervene. Murray. And Acopolis is there. Instead, Lex to come for Enjoy. Playing it square short for Griffin. Reesby reels that one in. Enjoy and Murray combining here once more. Murray off the left foot. And a sharp chance there by Yanakopoulos, it was. And Reesby once again grabs it. So the home side has the 1-0 advantage going into second half action. Although it's here for Peninsula and Strickland. Chested down with control straight into the back of Scott Stewart there. And immediate concern being shown here by the referee. The ball was belted into Stewart's head. As we see Strickland playing the ball in. Were shouts for offside and then, oh yeah, straight to the side of the head of Scott Stewart who remains down but now looking to get back to his feet. David Walsh says to Kurt McDonald, the 
Mitchell, the manager, what took you so long to get here? Castle Dine, was he brought down? Yes, in the opinion of David Walsh. So free kick here just outside the box. Briggs lined up over it. Four in the Mitchelton wall. And Daniel Cunha has converted here. Meets his captain, Jared Austin. Straight to the assistant, Ben Ryan. And then Aaron Philp. Dean Briggs with the free kick. Virtually unmarked there was Daniel Cunha. He's had a free header. And yeah, you can see the... Frustration from the Mitchell and defenders that they didn't uh, catch on to what Cunha was up to. Now, Matt Boyd so looks like he's had a bit of a strain here on his lower right leg. Just a bit of a hyperextension. Oh, yeah, his boot was caught just as he was looking to play the ball out. So, midway through the Second half, and this match remains deadlocked, although now there's a bit of push and shove here. So you can tell that this match does mean something to both sides. The yellow card coming out from David Walsh. And yet, Yanakopoulos goes down. And a scramble here inside the box. Referee... Allows play to continue. So we can pick anything out here on the replay. Briggs was surrounded by a host of Mitchelton players. Three and a half to play. Corner swung in. Waiting there was Scott Stewart. Couldn't guide at the right side of the post though. As we start to approach stoppage time. Mitchelton looking to get back. Defend here. High ball by Castle Dine. Walsh was almost in two minds. Boyd sent it onto the crossbar. Mendy touch back. Now continues on the run. Does a Frenchman. He's been brought down here by Michael Willoughby, who's going to find himself in a little bit of trouble, I fancy, here. Mendy was away on goal. Willoughby hasn't played at the ball at all. So we should be seeing red here. And that's exactly what happens. Probably won't hurt his side here. Now Michael Willoughby in a bit of push and shove. He's quick to clear the scene though before the Peninsula players can have another go at him. So Cunha's free kick. Going searching for it is Furigal. Almost into the corner. Plays it towards the edge of the 18-yard box. As Walsh sends this ball long. And that is full time here. The honour shared in this round five flight centre Premier League match. It's Mitchelton 1, Peninsula Power 1. <laughs>